Well, Sonia, it's a public place for everyone to enjoy, but many feel the New Haven Green has now become a private place for protesters only. The city says they want to reach an agreement to accommodate everybody, but on a beautiful day like today, some people, including police, say it is time to set a departure date. You're looking at one of the few places, if any, left in the nation where Occupy protesters haven't packed up or been kicked out. Things terrible the way it looks. I think we have a lot of homeless people probably just camping out there, to be quite honest with you. This man admits he's one of them. He was recently evicted from his Willimantic home. Looks kind of nuts, but I think they need to look at the part that what is going on here. There's no illicit use of drugs going on. Minutes later, we caught an arrest on camera. A woman and a man were busted for having prescription pills without the proper package and drug paraphernalia. They stayed right here. They've been there a couple days. Um, yeah, we're home, just homeless people we helped out. That's exactly why many New Haven residents want this scene to end. Well, I've stopped running through here and I stopped spending time on the green because it's a different place now. So when will the green be back to the way it was? Here's what city officials had to say. The green needs to be there for everyone, um, but we also want to find some accommodation with it, um, Occupy. We're told Occupy has cost the city $60,000 over the last few months. 60000 is, and that's a salary, that's not really an ongoing cost. That was more associated with when it started and with some marches. There were two meetings earlier this month between city officials, police, and protesters. So what's the next move? It certainly would be a problem if, if it continues. It, it, the encampment on the green will have to end at some point. Some say it shouldn't end just yet. Till something's changed, we're not going anywhere. If you're doing something so that you can get your point heard across, then you need to do it as long as it takes. I mean, that's the whole point of standing up and what you believe in. So still no definitive answer from the city on when these protesters will have to leave. In fact, there hasn't even yet been a third meeting set to discuss. Live in New Haven, Aaron Logan, News 8.